In this video, I try to see if I can put Windows 10 LTSB updates on Windows 10 non-LTSB. But first, I need to get Windows fully updated. I will run WShowHide to hide the feature updates so that it stays on the first version of Windows 10. After that, I will run Windows Update. In this part, I had to stop the Windows Update service as it has already checked for updates and found the feature update. By having it check for updates again, it should not find the feature update. In this part, I checked Windows Update again and it was giving an error code. That was due to Windows Defender not wanting to update through Windows Update, so I had to go into Windows Defender manually and update it myself. Strange enough, Windows Update does not update the original version to the last patch. As you can see, it installed the other update from June 2017, but not the one after that. We can install this patch manually by downloading it from the Microsoft Update Catalog and installing it. This update happens to be from June 2017, even though Windows 10 RTM lost support back in May 2017. In this part, I try installing the update after the one I just installed in the video, which was released in July 2017. The update fails to install even though it says it's for both Windows 10 and Windows 10 LTSB. Let's try and force it with DISM. Even forcing the update to install with DISM didn't even work, so let's just go on and try the latest update. You will notice that it says this update is only for Windows 10 LTSB, as the last update said it was for both Windows 10 and Windows 10 LTSB. I had to install 7-zip in order to extract the update files.
as you can see, this update did not install either, which is expected since the update from July 2017 did not work as well. This means there is no way to get LTSB updates on non-LTSB, at least for LTSB 2015. If anyone does find some other way to force it, please let me know. I will try this with other Windows 10 versions and make another video soon. Thanks for watching!